What up, YouTube fam? It's April G Showers back at y'all with April G's 2022 Mainstream Mainstream Rap Awards. Now, some of these artists are technically, or a lot of these artists are technically independent. However, they can be considered mainstream. Uh, I'm going to do a totally separate video probably for the underground YouTube artists. So be on the lookout for that. We'll see. So let's get started. I had a lot more categories, but for some reason this stupid tier list maker thing wouldn't let me add more rows. So I had to just decide what I was going to keep and what I was going to take out. All right, y'all. April G. Squaw, fist bump, love y'all. Let's get it. All right, so we're starting out with new artists. Now, these are new artists for me, okay? They may not be necessarily new artists for everybody else, but they're new artists for me, okay? So, my two new artists, favorite new artists, are Polo G and Oswin Benjamin. Both of them are fire. All right. Next, we have most underrated artists. The most underrated artists, in my opinion, are Lupe Fiasco, King Crooked, Shoe Gang, and Daylight. Those are the most underrated, in my opinion. Best collabsed of the year so first is eminem and kanye west and dj khaled on use this gospel remix so eminem kanye dj khaled also eminem and 50 cent with the unreleased song that they released called is this love that was fire also Eminem and Snoop Dogg with From the D to the LBC. Also, King Crooked and Joel Ortiz on all their songs. <laughs> all right, you can't really see this and it wouldn't change the color, but it says Best Beat. Best Beat. So for me, it's Rap or Die by Shoe Gang now. Technically, Shoe Gang released their EP, Shady Past, last year. However, I'm going by when I reacted to the song and when the music videos dropped, which was this year. So, Rap or Die by Shoe Gang has the best beat, as well as M95 by Kendrick Lamar. Funniest bar. <laughs> now, the funniest bar came from the song. Again, these are all songs. Some of these may be older to y'all, but they're new to me, okay? <laughs> so, funniest bar for me that I've heard this year is from the song Monica by Flatbush Zombies featuring Tech 9 but it was Michi Darko that said the ver the funny bar and the bar is she 5'5 five five, but her throat 6'3 <laughs> so Flatbush Zombies up there spiritual song I have two songs for my spiritual songs of the year. One is Use This Gospel Remix with Eminem, Kanye, and DJ Khaled. And then second is the song Savior by Kendrick Lamar. All right, next... I had to, they were going to be two separate categories, one best message, one most touching songs, but I had to combine them again because the stupid thing wouldn't let me add more rows. So the songs with the best message for me, I've got five of them. Song number one is Savior by Kendrick Lamar. Best message. 
So number two is On Phonem by Lupe Fiasco. So number three for best message is Fire in My Heart by Gemstones. Now I couldn't find Gemstones like Channel Channel. I just seen that all his stuff is on Rapzilla channel, so that's the picture I had to use. Also, for best message is Renegade by Shoe Gang. Also, for best message is Daylight's Freestyle, the entire thing on bars on I-95. Okay, now, most touching songs are The Heart Part 5 by Kendrick Lamar, which he's already up here. On Phonem by Lupe Fiasco, which he's already up here. And also, this is an older song by Kendrick Lamar, but it was the first time I'd ever heard it. Sing About Me, Dying of Thirst. And Kendrick's already up here, so. All right, my top three hype songs of the year. The songs that get me hype. Number one is N95 by Kendrick Lamar. Number two is FWTS by Shoe Game. Fuck with the shoes. And then number three is Rich Spirit by Kendrick Lamar. And he's already up there. So, now the best bars in a song. King Crooked's entire fucking verse on backstage. <laughs> the whole verse. I mean, it's just, bruh, Lupe Fiasco's on phonem, just because of how powerful it is, and what Lupe says, I mean, he just says, rappers die too much, that's it, that's the verse, bruh, come on, bruh, Tech Nine's first verse on his newest song, Screen. The whole song is bars on bars on bars. But I like the first verse better. My son likes the second verse better. So I'm just saying the first verse. And then also, Daylight's entire fucking freestyle on bars on I-95. The entire fucking thing storytelling songs of the year number one backstage by king crooked and joel ortiz number two miss mural by lupe fiasco and number three the way i am by Shoe gang. This track of the year for me is Warm Up the Game Dis by Pat Stay. R.I.P. Pat Stay. Group of the year. My number one group is Shoe Gang. My number two is Coast Contra, bruh. And my number three is Flatbush Zombies. Freestyle of the year. I have three. My number one freestyle of 2022, hands down, is Daylight's Freestyle on bars on I-95. Freestyle of the year. My number two freestyle of the year is Coast Contra's Scenario Freestyle. And my number three freestyle of the year is Joyner Lucas's Backwards Part 2. Verse of the year. I've got three. Number one is King Crooked's verse on backstage. 
Number two is Lupe's verse, first verse on on phonem. And number three is Tech Nine's first verse on his song Screen. Songs of the Year. My number one song of the year is Kendrick Lamar's The Heart Part 5. 100%. My number two song of the year is On Phonem by Lupe Fiasco. And my number three song of the year is Screen by Tech Nine. Album of the year. My top three. My number one album of the year is Drill Music in Zion by Lupe Fiasco. He made this album in 72 hours in his living room with a USB mic and garage band. Bruh. <laughs> My number two album of the year is Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers by Kendrick Lamar. And my number three album of the year is King's Disease 3 by Nas. Artists of the year. I was just introduced to him and his music. Obviously, I'd heard of him prior to this year. But I just started listening to his music this year. So for me... My artist of the year is Lupe Fiasco. And he put that new album out, which to me is album of the year. Artist of the year is Lupe Fiasco, Kendrick Lamar. And Tech Nine. And Legends of the Year. I've got five Legends of the Year. One is Lupe. Two is Tech Nine. These are people that have been in the game for a really long time. They're still grinding. They're still working. They're still putting stuff out. And it's still fire. Number three is Nas. Number four is King Crooked. And number five is Eminem. So yeah, y'all, that's my 2022 Mainstream Rap Awards. If y'all want to know what my other categories were going to be, let me know in the comments if y'all want me to make a video doing the other categories I had, which includes worst diss of the year, worst bars, worst artist, worst album, <laughs> worst song, <laughs> best conscious song, best conscious artist, best conceptual song, best conceptual artist, best vocals. If the, that's something y'all want to see in another video, let me know in the comments. If not, totally cool. Y'all comment below y'all's thoughts. Do y'all agree with my opinions? It's cool if you don't. We all like different things. That's why music is so great. Comment y'all's thoughts on my opinions. Do y'all think my awards, my opinions are valid? Or do y'all think, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Be real. 
be respectful please but be real i just think it's important to do stuff like this and give people their flowers while they're still here i just think that's very important with the exception on this particular list of pat's day r.i.p and prayers to his family and loved ones but i think it's very important to give flowers to artists while they're still here even though most of these artists probably will never see this video that's okay i'm still giving them their flowers and my respect but yeah y'all again comment below y'all's thoughts please like this video on your way out a lot more important than you think and please subscribe to my channel y'all all right y'all april g squad fist bump Love y'all, and I will see y'all in just a little bit. Peace out.